Well, thank you so very much, all of you, for being here. And not just being here today, but for showing up many months ago when you, when you heard the idea from Lucia, the country ambassador in Spain, and from Juanma, the ambassador here in Jerez, and also with the coordinators and everyone helping. When you heard the idea that there is an opportunity for all of us to say that wellness matters, good health matters, and actually that good health and wellness matter, not because I say so, but also because the United Nations in 2015 said, let's have an agenda for the planet, for Jerez, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. but for the planet, an agenda for 2030, where we can have a, a planet more sustainable, more equitable, uh, for genders, for opportunities, for education. They came up with 17 sustainable development goals. And the third one is good health and well-being for all. When I heard this idea, this message from the United Nations, I thought, good health and well-being for all, is it just for doctors and nurses? Is it just for, it was before COVID, 2017. Mm -hmm. Is it just for vaccination, for um, supplements that you can take? Or is it about hotels, resorts, tourism, fitness, yoga, mindfulness, all of the wellness practitioners who dedicate their lives to provide every day good health and well-being for all with good sleep. Hotels have great beds. I imagine here you have amazing beds. <laughs> good sleep, good nutrition. It's not just food in a plate. It's also information for the gut. Uh, movement, and not just sports and uh, being super active uh, for competition, just active in your daily life. And also mindfulness, because you can flex your muscles and you can be strong in your body, but are you strong in your mind? Are you resilient when obstacles, uh, disappointments arrive? And then the fifth um, pillar of wellness after sleep and nutrition and movement and mindfulness is sense of purpose and solidarity. How can we help not just to receive wellness for all, but also contribute to wellness by all? So to wrap this up, thank you for coming today so that we can celebrate some of the people, some of the faces, some of the names that I've heard who have made an, an outstanding contribution, but also thank you for showing up months ago saying, I can be part of the solution. You can be part of the solution because wellness doesn't start with me, the founder of World Wellness Weekend. Wellness starts with we, together. Eh, Yangui nos ha dicho que gracias a todos por venir y por estar aquí, no solo por estar aquí, sino haber estado durante mucho tiempo preparando estas actividades y eh, estando dentro de este mundo maravilloso del World Awareness, ¿no? de la salud, de, de todo lo que acontece alrededor nuestra y eh, ha tomado como referencia eh, los principios que la ONU ha desarrollado a la hora de eh, la agenda de 2030. ¿no? Vamos a tener 17 principios básicos y el tercero de ellos es la salud y el bienestar, con lo cual esta es una oportunidad para que todo el mundo conozca que en qué trata el World Wellness Weekend, aportar todo lo necesario, porque no solo se trata de tener bienestar tomándose un medicamento o los doctores nos den las recetas, sino las recetas las tenemos nosotros mismos a través de nuestras aportaciones, nuestras actividades, que todo el mundo disfrute, que sepa que la salud no está en tomar medicación solo, sino que la salud está en nosotros buscarla a través del ejercicio físico, de la nutrición, teniendo en cuenta los cinco pilares básicos 
de lo que trata el evento, la, la vitalidad, la, el descanso, lo que es eh, la alimentación, eh, la solidaridad con el planeta, porque el planeta necesita de nosotros igual que nosotros necesitamos del planeta. Entonces, todos a una vamos a trabajar con este evento y que se conozca a, en el mundo entero y cada vez seamos más los que aportemos este granito de arena que será una montaña y en la montaña se convierte en desierto y el desierto es innumerables personas que trabajan en todo esto. Muy bien. I, I would like to say just a few more words. I'll try to be brief. I, I will try. I'm French, very passionate. I will try to be brief. Promise, because I know you have other meetings. No, no, no. But I would also like Lucia to say a few words because no. it's not just about me, the founder, and you also representing Reres. It's also through the work of Lucia and the vision that she has to really put uh, Spain as the first most active country this year. Mm -hmm. So in, in a minute, you, you are going to be speaking. Well, <laughs> okay. But just before you do, I would just like to share a few numbers, okay? Because as we were saying before, a dream is just a dream if you dream it alone. But a dream becomes reality if we dream it together, John Lennon. I have other quotes from Gandhi and others, but I thought John Lennon. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> so um, we are dreaming together. The idea of good health and well-being for all opening up the doors of a hotel, a resort, a yoga club, a fitness studio, a, um, a spa, uh, a swimming pool, for just one hour, for free, for one activity, so that one member of the team, one coach, one teacher, one practitioner, one person gives one hour of his or her time, not just to give a free class, not just to say, come, it's free, okay. What have I got to lose? Well, maybe an hour. If it's bad, you lose an hour. But if it's filled with fun, excitement, then you start feeling the energy of that hour, of, the, of those sessions, especially if it's about uh, yoga de la risa, if it's, <laughs> if it's about laughing. So if you feel the energy, then you can understand the message of this year for the World Wellness Weekend, which is wellness, is a renewable energy. It's time to renew your energy and light up your world. Okay, so a few numbers. We started World Wellness Weekend 2017 with 160 venues in two countries, France and Belgium, because I'm French and I live in Belgium, so I had mm -hmm. to start somewhere. This year, tomorrow and until Sunday, 6,300 venues in 148 countries are opening their doors, giving one hour or two or three or more. I know people in the room who are giving six hours of their time okay. as wellness champions so that people can, can feel in the city. So Spain is the number one most active country out of 148. And Reres mm -hmm. is uh, I believe the sixth or the seventh most active city in the world with 80 venues active in a 10 kilometer radius mm -hmm. and 191 venues in a 100 kilometer radius. If people take their car for the weekend and drive around in Reres, Cadiz and all around, 191. Your city, your province mm -hmm. is bigger than many countries together. This is something that I would like to celebrate. So maybe you can translate, and then we can hear from Lucia. Bueno, Lucia, te tocará hablar en breve. Entonces, prepárate. En resumen, lo que Yangui dice es que eh, todos, eh, todo el mundo aporta, ¿no? Entonces, eh, si mm, cada uno en un resort, un hotel, hace sus actividades, no solo es hacer las actividades, es transmitir esa energía, transmitir esa, esa necesidad, exacto, energía, entusiasmo, todo lo que se refiere a crear 
un bienestar. Y, y la persona que lo imparte, aunque sea una sola persona, va a tener varias alrededor que esas van a transmitir a lo siguiente. Entonces, esto es una buena eh, forma de tener salud a través de nuestras aportaciones. También eh, quería dar muchas, ah, bueno, ha dado muchas cifras. Eh, la principal que desde 2017 empezó con World Wellness Weekend solamente en Francia y en Bélgica, pero a, en 2017 hasta hoy en día hay más de 150 países que participan en todo esto durante este fin de semana, con muchísimas actividades, cerca de 8.000. Eh, eh, sitios donde se van a impartir actividades. Eh, aquí en lo que compete a la provincia eh, tenemos en un radio de 50 kilómetros 191 actividades o 191 sitios donde podemos ir a hacer esas actividades y es mucho mayor que algunos países que tienen sus actividades, solo que es la provincia de Cádiz.